Hello, and welcome to the Complete Web Developer Course. I wanted to take a quick moment and just say thank you for taking the first few steps on becoming a professional web developer. In this course, you will learn a lot of different languages, and that includes HTML, HTML5, CSS, CSS3, JavaScript, Ajax, the JavaScript library called jQuery, PHP, as well as MySQL. At the end of each module, you'll be doing a little quiz just to test your knowledge on what you've learned so far. At the end of the course, you'll be building a full Twitter newsfeed clone using everything you've learned. But to start, we'll be keeping things very simple with the basics of HTML and CSS and then gradually moving into JavaScript. To get started, you only need a basic text editor. I suggest Notepad++. It's a great free tool and it's very robust and easy to use on pretty much every system. Getting started, what is HTML? Well, according to Wikipedia, HTML or hypertext markup language is a standard markup language used to create web pages, and that's very true. But HTML is more than just that. HTML is not actually a programming language. A lot of people think it is. It's actually considered a markup language. Now, markup languages consist of tags, also known as elements. They have opening and closing tags, they have attributes. HTML is used on every single web page. If you've ever gone to Twitter or Facebook or Google or really any website, even websites that have Flash on them, such as YouTube, uh, it still uses HTML to embed that flash in there. And the latest version of HTML is called HTML5. But to sum all of this up, HTML is really the backbone structure of how everything is designed on a web page. In HTML, we use something called an element to display our content. An HTML element typically starts with an opening tag and ends with a closing tag with your content in between. Now here's a couple of examples of what I mean. We have an opening tag, and this is not a real one, with your example content and a closing tag. Now what a closing tag has is it's basically the exact same as your opening tag, but after your first hard bracket there, you've got a slash. So as an example, again, we've got an opening paragraph tag, a paragraph content, and then closing tag. And just one more, we have an anchor, um, A is the link, that's the link element, and then our link text, which is what it would show up as, and that's what you would click to bring you to this page. We'll, we'll do links more in the future. And then our closing tag. And again, this is just how you write it. So you got opening, content, closing, your opening, and then content and closing. Now if we look at the elements that make up an HTML page, we have our doc type HTML. This is the HTML5 standard. Always, always use this. And to use anything older, there's not really any point anymore since HTML5 is the new standard. So this is going to be first line on every HTML page that you ever write. Next is your HTML element, the opening tag. Then you have your head, closing head, and the, all your heading stuff will go in between, obviously, the head element. And same thing with your body. You got an opening and a closing one, and everything that you want displayed goes into your body. So think of it like this all the brains and all the smarts of your web page go into the head tag. So think of the head as your brain, and it holds all the smart details, everything that it needs to operate the body. And the body is where you put all your organs, or your abs, you know, where, uh, where you want everything to be displayed. There are some elements that you don't put any content inside. For example, a line break, which is this. You got your BR, and this is your opening and your closing right there. Uh, horizontal rule, which is just HR, and an image. And an image is highly reliant on attributes, and we'll cover attributes a little, little more in uh, class in the future, real soon. As a good general rule, write all your elements in lowercase. In HTML4, it is recommended, and in XHTML, what we're currently writing right now, it is necessary. And just remember, 
always, always, always close your elements. Think of it like a light bulb. You turn it on when you use it, and you turn it off when you're done with it. 